The biggest, biggest update, update in Clash Royale. We got a Phoenix and a, and the Monk from Clash Mini. That Monk's gonna reflect projectiles. A new, rank. new ranked mode. Like challenges or like ladder? All new king levels. Oh no, all new king levels. Supercell. No. Heavens, no, you did not just increase the king levels. Greedy Cell! Deck Explorer. New Deck Explorer. This, this better not be like that random miser button that sucks daily rewards daily rewards what is this daily quest i thought they said they weren't bringing back daily quests and more welcome back to tv royale we've got another banger of an update for you we heard you wanted some new cards so we made two we heard matchmaking wasn't doing a good job so we split the ladder into casual and ranked looks a little different there you got i think is that a sneak peek of the banners that's probably the daily quests i mean um daily rewards Wh whatever it's called a split ladder that's kind of confusing did they remove party mode then we also heard you play expo but it's okay <laughs> i don't judge but max does there's loads more in this update including champions being available to more players so let's get into it. champions being available to more players does that mean that um it's easier to get to level 14 now because they have level 30 let's kick things off with the first thing you'll see when you open the game the new home screen. We've made some big changes to the core. Class Looks the same to me. We now have the option to play casually for trophies. Casual trophy road. So you do have to be king level 36 to unlock these champions. We made them easier to unlock. Now that you can't unlock champions at 14, you get to unlock Archer Queen at king level 36. If you can even push that high. Or you can compete in the Pass of Legends. The new company. The Path of Legends. Path of Legends is a brand new ranks mode for players who want a more competitive. What is going on here? Win multiplier five. You got steps. Is there like a gate where it you can't drop below five? Unlocked at five thousand trophies and king level thirty. King level thirty. More on that later. King level thirty. Oh no. Can climb the Path of Legends in a new rank season, earning special one-time rewards. You can also earn more rewards that we. Lots of each decent rewards season. here. The Path of Legends has stone steps and golden steps. Stone steps break when you lose. Oh, golden steps don't break. So that's that's your gate. It's not this thing. It's the golden steps. And I bet golden steps are different the higher you go. Find the path of legends to work your way through the new leagues and unlock exclusive. I don't know what rules. any of this means. 30,000 gold. Oh, is that a Royal, Royal Wild, Wild Champion, Champion card? card? Finally! Finally, we have Royal Wild Champion cards. Is that an emote? The ultimate champion gets a Tesla emote? You're joking. You're the best player in the world. Have some water. Trophy Road changes. With the Path of Legends debut, Trophy Road is getting an extension. It's like the Trophy Highway now. Trophy Highway. You can now womp, your womp. Way through 20 arenas, all the way up to seven. What does 46 mean? 1,500 trophies, earning rewards all the way. Trophy Road will no longer reset every season, so you can keep pushing until you have earned all the rewards. Doesn't reset, so you can go to 7,500. Okay, that's fair. Speaking of rewards. Unlock champions on Trophy Road. Remember champions? Those super cool cards that could only be unlocked when you were max level? Max level. Max level. Max level. Well, champions are now available for players to unlock on the trophy road. Oh, yeah. Now that y champions aren't unlockable at 14, you can unlock the Golden Knight and the Skeleton King at, <laughs> at King level 33. And then the Archer Queen and Mighty Miner at King level 36. Look at that. Of champions, then make sure to unlock them when the update drops by earning enough trophies. Oh, the monk unlocks at King level 39. Supercell made it easier. Honestly, I think that the... King levels are going to be different. If I log on, I'm pretty sure I'll be king level 69 with the sheer amount of experience I already have. I think they're just rescaling the, the kings. What happened to the party button? How I am hope? I supposed to disappoint my 2v2 partners now? Don't worry. You can still play all your favorite modes. You just need to tap here. Oh, oh no, no, they did, they not, did not add, add party, party mode, mode into the hamburger, hamburger menu. menu. Last time they did that with TV Royale, TV Royale went from 500k views to 10k views. Nobody got time to click the party menu from the hamburger menu to click whatever mode that they want. That's going to wreck the matchmaking pool in party mode. Two new cards are blasting their way into Oh, the monks reflecting all the projectiles. With a champion ability so powerful that he can... Oh, reflects the rocket? That's busted. the unique skill of turning into an egg. A reincarnation. <laughs> Relax, Drew. It's a phoenix, not a demon hell spawn. This champion has spent years studying his unique fighting style in his arena. When attacking, unleashes a powerful three-hit combo. Three-hit combo. Enemies with a fight. Knockbacks. A golem. One twenty. One twenty. Wait, wait. Is that one twenty? That was one forty. That dealt over three hundred ninety damage. 
On the third one. So his third attack knocks back and deals triple the damage. Pensive protection. When using pensive protection, non takes decreased damage from all sources. And deflect <laughs> Reflect projectiles. That's absurd. Dude, just straight up convince those goblins to switch sides. That's so dumb. He reflects the arrows. Destroys the dark goblin. Reflects the sparky. Did that only deal 300 damage to the tower? What? I'm, I'm a little confused about that. It wrecked the sparky though. Since when would someone fireball a monk? Ain't no one gonna fireball or rocket a monk. I wish I could deflect attacks. Let's see if you can. <laughs> oh yeah, the other new card. The mystical Phoenix is a brand new legendary card that... How many times can it respawn? It flies? Oh, oh, hold up, it's melee. So if it's melee, it's not going to deflect the monk stuff. And the first hit dealt 90% damage. I think a Dark Goblin's got, what, 260 health times 90? 234 damage per attack-ish. Give or take one or two pixels. I'm going off of pixels here. Deals melee damage. Damage. Deals days damage. Death damage. Deals days damage. Okay, if goblins have 202 health, that's like 80%. 160-ish death damage, give or take couple pixels. Death damage. Wait, 1220 minus 1165. That's 55 damage in the crown tower. 55 damage times 3.3. Crown tower damage has that reduction. 181 death damage. Turns into an egg. egg. Comes back to life again. Comes back to life. Comes back to life again at hit points. Full hit points. So it's not a clone. The arena once destroyed. Did it just kill that magic archer with the death damage? It totally did. Destroyed as long as this egg survives long enough. This combined oh, and it came back alive. That's obnoxious. How much health does this thing have? So it went down a couple pixels. Magic Archer deals 100 something. That's over a thousand health in the Phoenix. Then you love our new deck explorer. I hope this deck explorer is actually decent. Create the best decks for you using the cards you choose based on current game trends. No, you can take. Oh, so you can pick cards that you want and filter cards you don't want. That's cool. It's almost as if they copied what Royale API and Deckshop Pro are doing. But in game, I like that. It's intuitive. Daily tasks are here and they're not quests. They're not quests. Okay. Play ranked battle, get a shop offer. This literally just looks like play the game and get rewards. I actually like that. Quests were like kill 1000 skeletons with executioner. It's like, okay, I got to play executioner now. This doesn't force you to play things. It's just literally just play the game normally. I like that incentive. Unlock a daily bonus. Unlock all daily bonuses in a week to unlock the weekly bonus for juicy rewards. More stuff. New mastery tasks. A hoggy bank. A hoggy bank? 100,000 gold there. You get gems? No, that surely you have to pay gems to unlock that, just like in other game mechanics. New magic, New magic items. Champion wild card confirmed, because it's the champion shape, but what the frick is this chest? What does it do? Two champions? We already have champion... Rural wild chest. Balance changes. Plus three percent health. Um, what else was there? They announced it in October. They're adding a fourth goblin to there. That's gonna be crazy. Finally, king level changes. King level changes. Oh no. How does that even make sense? King levels are changing. King level seven to king level twelve. Don't even get me started on king level fourteen. King levels. King. So Drew's. It's right here. Drew, you're not making sense right now. Basically, we're adding way more king levels. So how is this good for you? How is this good? Ex please, Supercell, explain to me. Adding 50 king levels to the game. Supercell's like, hear me out. We're going to add more king levels. And it's going to cost a lot of money. But we'll give them chests every time they level up. No, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think when I log on, I'll probably be... It'll probably convert and I'll be a higher level. Get nice level up chest. You will also get matched with fairer opponents. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Receive the cold embrace of the algorithm. And spam the comments with things you'd like to deflect. Yeah, I really I really think it'll be okay. In the arena. They're, they're not going to go crazy about this. Yeah, no, knowing, knowing that, because last time they added level 14s, and then they just reduced the cost of everything. So if I'm a completely maxed out 14, my experience should transfer over. Eggs. 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 Eggs.